Today, I want to show you how to use Track Spacer by Waves Factory. This is a unique sidechain tool that I picked up over the weekend, and I'm excited to show you guys how to use it. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is the plugin Track Spacer. I bought it on Plugin Boutique, and it's actually only $39 right now. It's usually $59. It's on sale because it's Black Friday. And as you can see, the average rating is five stars. You have 6,233 votes, five star rating, have some great reviews from Sound on Sound, Tape Op, and Music Connection. So basically this is a unique side chaining tool. It creates space in a mix by carving out the frequencies that the main track needs into another track in real time. It has a 30 band EQ that reacts to the incoming side chain signal. It analyzes the spectrum of the side chain and applies a reversed EQ curve to another track as if by magic track spacer creates space for the primary track by cutting the exact frequencies on other tracks. This is similar to if you would use a dynamic EQ like a Pro Q3 by Fat Filter to use that as a sidechain. For example, you put the Pro Q3 on an instrument bus and then sidechain that to the vocal and then you duck the instruments to that vocal. But this is just a more precise and real time way to do it because it has 32 bands. So here it explains some of the features of the plugin and then it also says it's not a multi-band compressor. It says it's more transparent and easier to use than regular compressors. So let me go ahead and show you how we might be able to use this plugin. We're gonna be going through my song Choose You today as the reference song. So let me just go ahead and play you the section. So what I did is I just bounced everything down to five different tracks, five different groups. Let me go ahead and load up this track spacer. So this is what the plugin looks like. It's pretty clean looking. You have this spectrum analyzer essentially, and it just really allows you to look at some metering options. You can't really do anything. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to go to your sidechain input, and I'm going to choose vocals because maybe I want to carve out some room for these vocals because the bass takes up some frequencies in this mid to high range as well. Let me go ahead and play you this plugin now, and I'm gonna lower this amount to zero. So there you can hear what it's doing. At the top, you see the sidechain signal, and then at the bottom, you see the amount of ducking that is applied. If I hit that freeze button, then essentially it's going to apply this EQ curve to the bass, and it's not going to be dynamic, but I can adjust the amount here, up or down, and click that again, and then it will go back to being dynamic. So what you can see I'm doing here is I'm raising up this low cut, and this allows me to low cut that sidechain signal so that I'm only using, let's say above 500 hertz from that vocal to trigger the bass. And then I can apply some high cut so that I can really dial in which part of that signal that I want to trigger the bass. I could also go into this advanced menu here by clicking on this blue button and I can actually choose if I want to only have the left channel affected. So let me solo the bass here. Or the right channel. Or I could choose to only have the sides affected. Or more of the mids or 100% of the mids. And then you also have some options for attack and release. And then this button allows you to actually listen to the side chain. So I could turn that on. And there you just hear the vocals. And then if I apply the high cut, I can hear the effect of this high cut and also the low cut to that incoming side chain signal. Now what I could also do is I could sidechain the drums to the bass and I could go into my advanced menu and I lower the high cut so that only that kick is coming through and going to be the trigger. And let's go ahead and reset this pan knob.
and turn off that sidechain monitoring button. So there you can really hear that low end being ducked out of the way of that bass to make room for the kick. So now that's another option that you could use this track spacer for. Another thing that I like to do is I like to actually carve out some room for my instruments to make room for the vocals because a lot of times instruments have high frequencies in there that interfere with the vocals. So you have strings, you have synths, and if you just carve out a bit of room for those vocals, then the vocals can really sound present. So I'll typically use like a FabFilter Pro Q3 but you could use this track spacer plugin to do the same thing. So I have the track spacer on the instruments group and I'm going to set the side chain to the vocals and readjust the high cut here. And let's go ahead and just focus in on that high end. So you can really hear those strings ducking out of the way to make room for the vocals. And I can make some more adjustments, like let's say I just want to affect the mid, so then I could pan it all the way to 100% mid or maybe something in between. So there you have it. Hopefully that explained some ways that you might be able to use this plugin for your mixing practice. If you do want to grab it and buy it, I'll put a link down below and it'll take you to that website that I showed you at the beginning. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give a like. And also if you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. And finally, if you are truly looking to improve your mixing skills, then check out my Modern Mix Academy. This is a full online mixing course that I created that will help you make some of the best records of your life from the comfort of your own home. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.